Hi friends, in this episode we have the legendary abandoned Italian cars Lancia. In this collection you will see such famous cars as Lancia Delta, Stratas, Beta, Debra and many others. Fabrica, Automobili Lancia company, was born on November 27, 1906. Its owner, Reza Vincenzo Lancia, together with a friend decided to produce efficient cars with unusual design and technical characteristics. The central office of the company is still located in Turin. A year later, in September 1907, the first model, 1824HP, was released. After some time, it was renamed Lancia Alpha. The renaming of the brand was associated with the decision to make this brand unique, naming all new projects with the letters of the Greek alphabet. Many of Lancia's projects have become innovations. For example, the Dialfa car became the world's first car with a six-cylinder engine. However, with the release of the Dialfia, experiments continued and already in 1913 an inexpensive and very reliable Theta was presented, the first model in the world with an electric starter. In 1957 the world's first model with external and internal wipers, the Lancia Flaminia was released, which quickly became mega popular both in Italy itself and abroad. The Flaminia maintained its top-selling status for 13 years. Twelve years later, Lancia merged with the Fiat concern. Three years later, in addition to the innovative Beta, the first project Stratos sports car with the Ferrari engine was released. This car has won world rallies for three years. In 1984, the Lancia Thema was released, which was a revised Fiat Chroma. In the early 90s, the company's reputation began to decline significantly due to claims of low reliability. Then, in 1994, after a short lull, the line of proposals was diversified by the eight-seater Lancia Zeta station wagon and, in 1995, by the elegant Thaxi Sedan, which became the real flagship of this brand. The work on the last model did not end there, and in 2002 it came out in an improved form with a more powerful engine. In 1996, in honor to its 19th anniversary, the company introduced such model as Y, Delta, Dedra, Kappa and Zeta, and a year later Elefantino. With Lancia Delta in 2009, the company was awarded five stars for driver and passengers protection in Euro and CAP crash tests. In 2010, the famous British magazine Autocar conducted a survey where people had to determine the best charged hatchback in history, and it again turned out to be the legendary Lancia Delta. In October 2011, Lancia launched the Voyager minivan on the Chrysler platform. It received a 2.8 litre turbo diesel, developing power up to 163 horsepower. Nowadays, Lancia continues its work, but already as a developer and supplier of reliable and at the same time glamorous Italian cars with an elegant design and decent stuffing.
Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Thanks for sharing and bye-bye.